Hey folks, my name is Sheriff Mark Lamb and this is The Big Reveal. How you doing, brother? It's good. good to have you on today. Nice to see you. Tell us a little bit about who you are and what your company is. My name is Dan Delacruz. I'm the president of Compliant Technologies. Uh, we have a device and tools that we work with law enforcement, uh, corrections, EMS, and hospitals. And what is the unique proposition that you provide to the market? We have a tool for law enforcement now that, that fits into a gap that, that wasn't there before. Most of the tools that the officers use are distance weapons. Right. We have a tool that they can use when we're up close and personal, where, when we're actually going hands-on with an individual. Which helps. Yes. Because that's a big part of this job, is having to go hands-on and, right. and having the right tools to be able to obviously minimize injury for us and minimize injury for the people that we're dealing with. Our signature product is our glove. What you're gonna to see today is uh, how I can handle this. What's your name, sir? Wyatt. Wyatt, so I'm gonna work with Wyatt today. You're gonna to see how I can take Wyatt under control without hurting him or getting hurt myself. So I'll show you, this, this glove, it's a pressure switch. Comes on one second on, takes three to four seconds to turn off. That way it doesn't accidentally turn off if we start wrestling on the ground. As you can see, this doesn't go through clothing, doesn't go through hair. If I had to get away from Wyatt and go to my weapon, I could use my weapon, I'm not gonna shock myself. I could use anything on my belt. If Wyatt was being a good guy and I was gonna cuff Wyatt, he could touch these cuffs and see it's not gonna hurt him. Yeah, nothing. nothing transfers through metal. Nothing. It only works on skin. So for this demonstration, I'm gonna use one glove and zero tactics. Okay. So you can see how simple this works. So I'm just gonna back you up here, Wyatt, for a second. Alrighty. I'm gonna hold on to Wyatt's skin here so you can see that it won't transfer to me. Nothing happens to me. It's only gonna happen where I make contact with him. If I had a partner on the other side, it wouldn't affect them, all right? So if I was back here and I'm working with Wyatt and he started to struggle with me, I would say, Wyatt, oh, oh, <laughs> oh, 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 <laughs> Now, if you take a look at Wyatt, he's got no burn signatures, nothing happened to his skin. He's perfectly fine. But that fight ended in less than three seconds. That was zero tactics. That was just me closing my hand on him. The sooner we stop the fight, the safer everybody is. If, if I can stop a fight in, in seconds as compared to minutes, yeah. that, that saves a lot in taxpayers' money when it comes to workman's comp and suspect payouts that, yeah, we're, that we're seeing left and right here. Which is what happens. It's a very, liti very <laughs> litigious society. Exactly. And we're constantly having to deal with that. So I like right. the idea of you coming up with something different. So you're the president. Correct. Why did you guys start this company? Well, our whole goal was for you guys, our men in blue, to uh, find a safer tool to get you guys home at night, protect your families, protect your wallets, protect your, your livelihood. You know, a lot of people are scared to do their job right now because of what's going on out here in the, in the world. So uh, just giving you guys a little bit more confidence and knowing that you get to go home at night without the fear of losing your job, being sued, or losing your freedom even. Right. I hear you're a police officer, you're with Heroes Travel. Yes, sir. So you as a police officer out in the streets, uh, what's, what's some of the most difficult things you come, come into contact with when you're working with a suspect hands-on and you're trying to get them cuffed? I've had people fighting on the ground. One of the most dangerous situations as a law enforcement officer when they're trying to hide their hands, we don't know what they're reaching for in that waistline, as well as, you know, I've been on the fight alone where I'm trying to dig their hands out from underneath them. All right, and, and what, what policies do you have right now to get their hands out? There's a chance that it, it could go up to lethal force if we, we were to find out there were a weapon. Like he said, when they're out in the field and they can't get them, we're, we're asking for their hands or refusing to get their hands, or they won't put them out. They're forced to strike them, dig their knees into them, do multiple things. None of this looks good on camera when it finally comes to it. So what we have is I'm asking them to give me a hands. Give me your hands, give me your hands. Oh! <laughs> job. <laughs> We're good shape now, guys. You see how quickly the hands come out? Oh, that was horrible. Yeah. That was horrible, but but you're not it hurt. works. And and everything they saw on camera, I didn't strike you, I didn't do anything. No. Their hands always pop out. And and honestly, you know, I there's no damage to my person, you know, there's no blood, nothing like that, no <laughs> yeah. puncture wounds from taser probes. This is I, you know, I feel good. You know, you're dealing with law enforcement, you're dealing with police, you're dealing with probably courts and stuff like that. Corrections. Yeah. So what customer challenges are you solving for them? For us, the challenge is education, educating the, the police and educating the public as well so that they realize that our tool doesn't just help the police officer, it actually helps on the other end of the spectrum too. 
Because when we stop that fight in seconds, that means they don't get hurt and the suspect doesn't get hurt. So nobody's getting hurt in this process. You can bring somebody into compliance in less than three seconds without anybody getting hurt. We've had over 3,000 real world uses with zero suspect injury, zero officer injury, and to this day, zero lawsuits. And within those 3,000 uses, we're seeing compliance in less than three seconds. That's great. Now I know I've been the victim. <laughs> I've had it tested on me. Yeah. How are you guys different? Do you have competition? So I wouldn't say we have competition. We're, we're a separate entity right now. We're not, we're not a weapon. It's a conductive distraction and de-escalation device. We're not even a weapon. What it does is so benign and humane that nobody gets hurt. So th there's no other tool on an officer's belt that we can demonstrate today and everybody walk away with zero injuries and probably smiling and laughing when we're done. But it, it is a tool that works. We always have a joke that there's two things police hate, cops hate. They hate the way things are and they hate change. How do you get them to change and to, to accept this? So what, what I've uh, experienced through all this is a lot of uh, concern or uh, questions. Is this real? Is it really gonna work? And, and we have a motto in our company is feeling is believing. Because I've done a lot of demos, I've flown all over the country, met with different um, department heads and trainers and stuff like that. And some of them will tell me, hey, I've seen your videos, it looks a little gimmicky, <laughs> until I grab them. Yeah. When, they, I, when they feel it, they believe me after that. Oh, and yeah. then we go through different scenarios and a 20 minute demo turns into three hours because they start calling everybody from every agency they know and, and every department head to come down and see what this actually does. It's pretty incredible. Stand strong, get a good stance if you're gonna fight against me. Oh, mama mia. <laughs> it's like tingling, like if your arm circulation was cut off and it was just nonstop tingling. So let's talk about weapons retention. It, you know, based on what you felt, would you like to reach in here and grab this gun off my belt? No. 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 <laughs> yeah, so when it comes to weapons retention, we teach people to cover and hold. Mm -hmm. and it's a strength thing. Now it's just cover. You're not gonna be able to get these gloves off my hand. You're not gonna be able to get this gun off my belt. When yeah. you do it, it almost feels like somebody's faking it. Exactly. Um, until you've been on the other end of it and you realize it's, it's as real as can be. So yeah. tell everybody how they can learn more about you, where they can find you. We're Compliant Technologies. You can go to compliantechnologies.net. We do not sell to individual officers or the public. We only sell at the agency level. Our goal with all this is to educate the public that this is something, when, when I do these demos, I have uh, the public ask me, why doesn't every officer have this? And, and that's my question as well. As they see this, they'll start pushing for it and more and more departments will come on board. Thank you very much for taking time with us today and coming and visiting us. This is Sheriff Mark Lamb signing off from The Big Reveal.